Hi, I'm Lee Allport with Red Carpet Report. I'm here at Disney Studios in Burbank for the premiere of Sophia the First. She's the youngest Disney princess. Mr. Lou Diamond Phillips. How are you? How are you? Oh, no. I'm not. I'm scary. So, Mr. Phillips, you have a tiara, so you are awesome. Do I have a tiara? It's on your head. Oh, my, fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. I'm feeling very royal. I'm glad. Yes. Um, so, tell us your role in the Sophia the First. Um, my, my role is as an audience member. That's what I thought. But how excited are you about oh the show? Oh, my goodness. Uh, I'm, I'm extremely excited. Indigo's been uh, seeing the commercials, and she's... Uh, uh, very excited to see the show, and I know we'll be watching it at home an awful lot. So it's a real treat to actually come to the premiere. You're going to see it like 500 times over and over and over. Uh, no doubt, exactly. <laughs> but you know, she's she's a little princess, and Disney does princesses very, very well. And she's literally a little princess. Yes, indeed. Um, so tell me, what is it? What do you have going on right now? Oh uh, my goodness, my, my series Longmire uh, will be coming back for uh, season two. Uh, I think that'll be out, uh, I believe, in June. Uh, we're coming back for 13 episodes. I've got a wonderful film with uh, Edward James Olmos that um, uh, was a big hit at Sundance called Philly Brown. That'll be out sometime next year. And uh, uh, every uh, Saturday I'm on an officer in a movie on the Military Channel uh, looking at classic war films and, and interviewing real American heroes. My father watches that religiously. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Real proud of the show, and I'm, I'm also very, very proud of what our show does at, in the community, working with Operation Second Chance, the uh, USO, the Wounded Warriors, and uh, especially with Veterans Day coming up. Uh, you know, we, uh, we definitely want to remember uh, our service people and uh, our men and women in the military. And it means a lot to them, because my father is a wounded veteran from Vietnam, and he is really touched by what you do. Uh, it's very important to me. My dad served two, two tours in Nam, and uh, I was just at a swearing-in ceremony for 120 new warriors uh, down in Anaheim. And I'm actually um, giving away uh, uh, awards to military chefs uh, this week in, uh, in D.C. through the USO, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Plus, I'm going to be cooking. Wow. Are you a good cook? Uh, you didn't see Rachel versus Guy, did you? I didn't. I'm sorry. I won. <laughs> you won? Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's great to hear. Thank you for taking time to talk to us. Thank you.